wheelchair. But if Jesus said, come out of that wheelchair, you're coming out of that wheelchair. It may look like, oh, it may look like you're broke and don't have any money. It may look like your family's not living for God. But hey, get to that other level. Just keep on walking. Just keep on, hallelujah, saying, not by might nor yet by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that we're going to a Holy Ghost level in this church because the man of God. The man of God, he saw the smoke of God. He saw the Shekinah glory of God. He saw the water coming out. And God reached down and touched him and said, I'm going to take you to a level you ain't never been. I want you to not try to stop up my, uh, don't try to stop it. Let the Spirit of the Lord have his way. Hallelujah. 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 Start up, start up, start up, start up, start up. I'm getting Holy Ghost drunk in the glory. See that thumb? That's another level. Oh, come on, come on. Everyone wants a miracle tonight. Stand to your feet. Won't the Holy Ghost stand to your feet? We are Shandara Bataya. Jesus. There's devils going to come out just like that. 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 And the axe head did swim. Your axe head needs to swim tonight. Will your spirits take? Say yes. Yeah. If I told you what I really need from thee, will your heart and soul say yes? Yeah. in God. Keep crying out to God. Keep expecting God to do the supernatural life in your life. You question the call of God in your life. You question God's got his hand on you. I don't call you. But you're going to find out what God's doing for you in your life. Mighty move of God's coming upon you mightily. And the revelation from the word of God is going to come into this brain, into this heart like you ain't never had. You can believe it by my faith. Raise those hands. Lord, I accept the good things. I accept the good things, Jesus. You understand what I'm saying? And if you out there expecting God to do something, say, Lord, this is my night in Jesus' name. They're going to leave off of you tonight and raise both hands and expect God to do the miracle in Jesus' mighty name. Loose my sister. By the power of the Holy Ghost and fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed, be delivered, and be set free. Receive ye nothing but Holy Ghost and fire. Somebody said, Amen. Stand to your feet right now and love God. Oh. Ah, stand to your feet, brother. Mm, back here. Right back here. You got to be touched to God. Oh, Lord. I see a man that's come against you. I see God reaching down and doing a miracle in your life. It's all right. Can you say amen? amen? And you've been trying to swallow, but this, 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 this right where your uh, vocal cords are, it, it seems like it swells up and you cannot swallow like you want to. But you're going to start swallowing right in the name of Jesus Christ. Look, look now. Receive nothing but Holy Ghost and fire. In Jesus' mighty name. As you go down this backbone, as you go down your backbone, don't you look. I'm not through yet. Praise God. Just hang on. When I'm in the Holy Ghost, uh, praise God, I may, 
I may not remember one word I got to say to you. And if you're on streaming web tonight, the Holy Ghost is on streaming web. But we're not worried about tonight. We want you to be healed, be delivered, and be set free in the name of Jesus. And if anything's named up here, you claim in the name of the Lord. And if it's not, you still claim it in Jesus' name. Mm, look at me, sister. You've been praying deliverance has covered her area. God's going to heal you. And you're going to straighten up. And they're going to say, I ain't no way they can do that. Watch the Holy Spirit of God do it. I may not be tonight, but he's going to do it. I believe he's good. He can do it tonight. You believe God? Mm. She has a digestive problem. God's going to reach down and going to touch us in Jesus' name. There's so much the Lord's going to do in this lady's life. If the word's going to spread all over. But I hope we don't wait too late. I hope we don't wait too late to recognize, by the way, Jesus has walked with me. By the way, Jesus has walked with me. He, he's in the house right now. Oh, yeah. Watch. Holy Ghost, talk to us. Come on, Lord Chief. I ain't got little hands on her. The Holy Ghost is already touching her. Raise your Holy, holy, hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, there's miracles taking place in this church. inspiration there are some that must be moved by inspiration you put a wind in one end and music come out the next end so I come and I preach a word of faith and the brother go write a book I preach the same word of faith or in the same group of listeners somebody has write a song oh and in the same word, somebody will start a business. The same word, a little man run, go home and say, will you marry me? Come on, somebody say inspiration. Inspir when he breathes in us, it brings results the next end. Every now and then we say, God, I need a breath. Come on, somebody lift your hands to God and say, breathe on me, Lord. in the presence of God and I'm here to praise and magnify him hallelujah and as long as I live I'm gonna stay in the presence of Almighty God praise God praise God when you come to the house of God you need to do something Yes, man, we have to get back there. 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 This was what that draw me when I hear somebody say praise. When I hear somebody say praise. When I hear somebody say praise. There is something about Jesus. Oh, oh there is something about Jesus. Come on, there is something about that name.
This is a serious business. This is a serious fight. So friend, you have to learn to call angels. Call for help. We need the guardian angel. You need to come on. You have to learn to call angel. Come on. Come on. We need the guardian one. Come on. You need Michael. You need Gabriel. Sheko Talabosata. You you have to learn to summon them. You have to give them position. You have to summon them. You have to post them. You have to post them. And at the same time, you tell them, block, block the devil's fool. Block the heavenlies. Shake over Satan. Come on. You don't sit down and allow the enemy to take control. I feel something. Come on. You call for the elect angel. You call for the guardian. Come on. You call for them. Sometimes pastor does not think about Jesus riding into Jerusalem on the donkey for the last time. And I think about the people running after him, waving their palm branches and shouting Hosanna. And I think about the religious leaders who said, tell them to shut up. And I wonder to myself, if blind Bartimaeus was in the crowd, waving his palm branch and shouting Hosanna and now hearing somebody say, stop your noise. And I wonder if Bartimaeus remembered when he sat by the highway side begging, nobody to look at him and now you're telling me to stop. I have a feeling that the woman taken in the act of adultery was in the crowd that day. Waving her palm branch. And I have a feeling she heard somebody say, shut up. But she remembered. She remembered the stones. She remembered the judgment. Lord God, you couldn't stop that lady. You, you couldn't stop that lady. You couldn't stop that lady. Are there any 500 pence sinners in the church? Stand with me and worship your God. If you know you're a 500 pence man. Lord of mercy. Maybe the widow of Nain was in the crowd. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Maybe Mary Magdalene was in the crowd. Out of whom the Lord cast seven devils. And you're telling her to shut up? No, 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 no. You have to kill me, you have to kill me. You have to kill me, you have to kill me. If you want me to shut up, kill me. I can't forget to praise his name. He has done so much for me